guys welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up then drop your comment down below so today i'm going to be showing you guys the easiest and simplest method on how to draft your blazer sleeve without wasting much of your time let's dive into the video so first and foremost what you have to do when drafting a blazer sleeve because it's going to be a little bit technical but not all that technical so you have to place your your paper on fold like i just did once you place it on fold you measure out your one inch this one inch will serve as our starting line so i'm going to measure it all down then i will connect so once I connect from this starting line, so from this starting line, I'm going to measure three inches and also measure six inches. I'll I'll also measure my uh, elbow. I will measure my elbow length, which is 14 and a half, which is here. Then my full length or my wrist length is 24 inches so which is uh here 24 inches here then this 24 plus 2 inches for my folding allowance depending on what you want if you want to use interface for it or lining you can add one inch to read as your folding so from these three inches that i marked here from these three inches i'm going to come down by four this will serve as my cap length so for this six inches this one is three this one is six this one is 14 and a half 14.5 then this one is 24. then from this six inches i'm going to come down by the my armhole measurement my arm my round armhole is 15.25 divided by divided by two will give me 7.75 odd so here i'm going to connect going to measure six to make sure that i have equal line so from here i'm going to come down from here i'm also going to remark to measure out three to make sure that everything everything is equal so my round arm my round um, elbow is 12 12 inches 12 divided by 2 will give me 6 why my wrist is 10 10 divided by 2 will give me 5 so from here remember that my elbow my elbow is 14 and a half why my wrist is 24 make sure that your tape is flat so i'm going to measure out 6 i'm also going to measure out 5 so since I'm done measuring out, I'm going to connect the lines. So I'm going to also connect this to this. So from my armhole, I'm going to connect to my elbow. And from my elbow, I'm going to connect to my wrist or my full length. So when, when you want to cover out your sleeve curve, Please, either you make use of your armhole cup or you make use of your multi-purpose um, ruler. So, another trick on how to get a perfect cup for your sleeve is from your center, from your center, on your starting line, you mark one inch down. So, this will serve as a guide on how to place your tape. So, please make sure you note this method on how to place your tape while making a sleeve. So, you place your tape like so. You place your rule or your curve like so, then you curve. Make sure that your curving stops at this uh, one inch down. So you then place your tape out, depending on how you want or how curvy. You can place your tape like this, you can place your tape like so, or whatever way you want it to be. So from this cap line, I'm going to also curve down like this so since we are true with the measurements so i'm going to also come down like so for my folding so i'm going to trace this thing out then open the sleeve then we can continue on the next step so guys before i will cut this thing out i just want my work to be a little bit easier for me so 
I'm going to remeasure this my my sleeve cuff. So you can see that my sleeve cuff is more than 7.5. I have here like 10 and a half inches. So here will all this all the all the remaining inches will also will serve as my seam allowance. So from my elbow, I'm going to add one inch only. Then from my wrist or my full length, I'm going to add one inch. Then uh, I'm going to reconnect. I'm going to extend my lines so I'm going to extend my lines and reconnect it so I have reconnected the lines I'm going to add my seam allowances and this sleeve curve I'm going to add seam allowances of half inch Since I have added my seam allowance of half inch, I'm going to curve. So since I'm true, adding my seam allowances to it. Remember, I have added seam allowance here. Seam allowance at the elbow, seam allowance at the wrist. So I'm going to cut it out to know what I'm working with. So this is what I have here. This is the sleeve that I have right here. So let me put it like this so that you guys will see. So this is the sleeve that we have right now. So the trick that I'm going to show you guys is simple as ever. So make sure you keep watching. Remember that our cape length is what is four inches. Can you guys see? Four inches. So we are going to mark four inches to the ample, four inches to four inches down to the elbow, and also four inches down to the wrist. So the next thing is to connect from cap, from cap to armhole, from armhole to elbow, from elbow to the wrist. So I'm going to trace, I'm going to cut here out, I'm going to cut these four inches out. So I'm going to fold like so. I'm going to put then cut out so I have cut it out so the next thing for me to do is to extend these lines to this side. So I'm going to make sure that I'm, I extend this to this. So. so 
So once you have extended the lines, the next thing for you to do is to match it up. So you have to match it up. I'm going to use my seal tape to seal the edges. So once you are done, once you are done, this is how your sleeve will look like. So you will notice here that here is not straight. Here is not all that curve. So what you going, what you are going to do is to place your tape. What you are going to do is to place your ruler like so. Then you curve it out. That's it. So I'm going to trim out the excess out. So once I trim out the excess out, this is how your blazer is supposed to look like. Remember, we have added our seam allowances here. We have also added seam allowances at this side and also at this side so i'm going to fold this on two equal on equal parts so once you fold it into two equal parts you will have something like this you will have something like this so this is how your blazer sleeve supposed to look like or not even supposed this is how your blazer sleeve will look like so i can't wait to see you guys next week to complete the finished look or the final look of this blazer so guys make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up and then drop your comments down below i love you guys Mwah.